remodeling historic homes for me, you know, not only am I, when I'm tearing apart like archeology, span like I'm stepping in the footsteps of craftsmen that came before me. I, I feel so honored to be on that person's crew 100 years ago. So here we are on the third story up on the scaffold here at the historic building called the Moana Apartments. We have the scaffolding set up now for access to our work on the side of the building. And on many of our projects, I liked a nice wide scaffolding like this because I believe that it's safer for us to get to all the detailed components that we have to access. Okay, so over here is one of the original windows. This is, see the decay and the damage that's done in this sash and in this sill right here? This is what has to be pulled out and these are a lot of the components that we had to strip down because of all of the lead in the, in the paint. We had to handle with correctly, but it can be done. And here's the result right here behind me. Setting up dust controls in the living space is critical not for just keeping the dust down, but also for being compliant with regulations regarding lead containment. It's important to remember that agitation should be kept to a minimum because plaster is fragile as well as moldings and many of the window components. It's best to have a knowledge of how installation was performed in the first place so that by using a myriad of pry bars and specialty saws, damage will be kept to a minimum. Once extracted, I'll use a numbering system and label all the pieces when removed, because this is more like surgery rather than demolition. Now that the windows have been removed and properly labeled, it's time to wrap up our windows in plastic for transport and head to the shop. So watch the next video, and I'll see you there. Bye for now. For more of Done Solutions, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, Leave them in the comment box below. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.